Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Opfer. I'm so excited to spend some time with you today during reading workshop. I wanted to revisit this really special anchor chart that Ms. Asano introduced to us when she worked with us during reading workshop a few lessons ago. It's all about character traits. And I bet you remember from reading about Duck and Goose that we can learn a lot about characters from their outside traits and their inside traits. Character traits that are on the outside are physical traits. It's what we can see. It might be hair color, eye color, height, clothing, or more. And if the character is an animal, it might be, do they have fur or feathers? There are also some character traits that we can't see with our eyes. They're on the inside. These would be thoughts, words, feelings, and actions. And we can learn so much about characters by thinking about not only traits we can see on the outside, but also what's happening inside. I want us to do this work today while, re while we read a really fun story together called Jabari Jump. All right, readers, so as we explore our story, Jabari Jumps, I want you to be thinking about character traits, what you notice on the outside and the inside. Here we go. Jabari Jumps by Gia Cornwall. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. Oh, there's Jabari. He has a swim trunks and his goggles. I bet that's probably his dad. And who do you think this character might be? Yeah, maybe his sister. I like that idea. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary. But Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test. And now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari. So. I'm not scared at all. Hmm. I'm noticing a character trait about Jabari. I'm noticing that he's feeling brave. He said he's not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. That's not very big. <laughs> then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Think about that, readers. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. Mm, you can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Hmm. I wonder, readers, is Jabari really thinking about doing a special kind of jump? Or did he get out of line maybe for a different reason? Hmm, I'm gonna think about that. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. Oh, I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. Hmm. Well, I thought that Jabari was feeling really brave about diving. But now I'm thinking about kind of his feelings on the inside, some character traits on the inside. And he really is 
trying to maybe make excuses to not go up on the diving board. He needed to think of a jump. He needed to stretch. He was a little tired. He said maybe tomorrow would be better. That's kind of a lot of reasons not to do it. Hmm. So that makes me think that maybe now Jabari is feeling a little bit scared or he's a little bit overwhelmed. Let's keep reading and find out. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Oh, look, readers, I'm noticing in the picture this boy, he didn't really dive, but he did like a big crazy jump off of the diving board. Jabari took a deep breath. Oh, like a mindful breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Wow, he's really high up. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. <gasps> I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Oh, he's doing a jump too. That goes perfectly with the title, doesn't it? Jabari hit the water with a splash. <laughs> Down, down, down he went, and then back up. Whoosh! Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. <laughs> the end. I really enjoyed that story, readers. I hope you did too. Let's take a quick look back at our character traits anchor chart. And I want you to really think about some words that you could use to describe Jabari's character traits on the outside and the inside. Hmm, let's take some thinking time right now. Oh, I have one idea. Oh, two ideas. Hmm. I have three ideas. I wanna share my ideas with you and let's see if we have any that are the same. So for character traits on the outside, for Jabari, our main character, things I can see. Well, I know that he is a boy. I would guess he's maybe, maybe five-ish. That would be my guess. Maybe he's a kindergartner. He has on swimming trunks and goggles. And he has brown hair and, oh, he's an older brother because his little sister um, was there at the pool with him. Okay, on the inside, hmm, let's think about maybe some feelings or thoughts or actions that could describe Jabari. I'm gonna think again, I want you to think too. Hmm. Okay, I have three. I have three ideas that will help me explain my thinking about character traits or personality traits on the inside for Jabari. I learned that he kind of was acting excited or brave to jump off the diving board at the beginning of this story. But as we've learned, right, characters can definitely change over time. So we learn that Jabari 
sort of changed his mind a little bit. And he was becoming a little hesitant or a little afraid to jump off of that diving board, which I understand because it was up so high, wasn't it? He kind of started thinking of reasons why he shouldn't go up to the diving board and jump off. But he, he took a little break, kind of thought about it, and then his dad helped him decide, you know, it might be okay. It might be like a little surprise. Um, and then at the end of the story, he decided he was going to try and jump, and he felt so happy. So he was brave at the beginning. Brave is a good feeling word to describe his personality. Then he was a little less brave or <laughs> a little bit afraid in the middle. But by the end of the story, he was feeling proud of himself, I think. Um, and he was feeling really happy and excited. And I think he had tons of fun in the pool. Today, readers, while you're reading your Just Right books, you might want to keep the super cool character traits anchor chart up on the screen and just kind of pause it. And I want you to maybe refer back to it as you're reading your Just Right books and see if you can name three outside character traits for an animal, a person in your book today, and three inside traits. Happy reading, everyone. We're so proud of all of your hard work. See you soon.